Well, Caroline, I'm, I'm so grateful for you to be here with me on the Social Entrepreneurship and Innovation Podcast. For folks who are unfamiliar, would you mind introducing yourself and, and sharing with us a little bit as to what it is that you do? Yeah, my name is Caroline Duell, and I am the founder and CEO of All Good. And All Good is a brand based in Morro Bay. We make organic and botanical body care products and mineral sunscreens. Hmm. And, and so uh, what I understand from, from doing some due diligence beforehand is that, that you're something of a reluctant entrepreneur. Well, I think that comes from just the idea that um, I never really intended to start a business. It wasn't like, I have this great idea that's going to solve all these problems. Boom, <laughs> take it to market, get funded, go. But that was not the way that it rolled. I was... Um, in, in the early 2000s working as a climbing guide and a massage therapist and with my partner boyfriend at the time now husband was running a farm in West Marin just north of San Francisco in California and I came up with this salve I have a background in herbal medicine and always was uh, interested in making herbal medicinal remedies for friends and for family and just as kind of like a hobby and things that, that I that I love to do to take care of people and so I made this salve and um, out of this garden that we had installed on the farm that Ryan was partnering on and um, gave it away to clients and helped people who I was teaching crack climbing to to heal their knuckles and massage clients who had uh, issues with their skin and and then we started just kind of sharing it at the farmers markets and um, giving it away here and there and then that is what launched into a business is just that people found some magic in it and found some real healing properties in it that uh, I knew existed but I just kind of never really knew how much of an impact it would have for people so the reluctance was just that I felt really deeply committed to the medicinal response to, to the you know to the healing response that the that the staff has and it, right out of the gate I named it all good goop because it's just this like goopy product that you put on and it was just really all good kind of like the california vernacular <laughs> for so many things um and um and so i always felt like that was the important part was was really creating uh you know the this authentic sort of medicine if you will and um the part that i didn't really feel attracted to was that that would start to develop into something that would be a business and that a business in my mind was something that inherently creates compromises and potentially creates devastating kind of you know methods of supply chain extraction and destruction and all that so I didn't believe in any of that and I thought that I would have to compromise personal values or meet my herbalist ways to start a business so when it started to grow I kicked and screamed and finally got convinced that it was a business actually by a store owner <laughs> I asked him just to hold the products at his store so people could come and pick it up and he just literally <laughs> grabbed me by the shoulder and was like don't you understand what's happening you don't get it so anyway it's been in quite a journey since the beginning days and I would still consider myself a reluctant business person because I'm always trying to find some other avenue when you know mm -hmm. I learned that these are the ways that business is done I always just stop and question is that the way that we really need to be doing it hmm and so, I mean, right there, the reluctance is, is never completely faded, but what, what sort of had you uh, really commit to kind of diving in with both feet where you're like, all right, this, this is a business and <laughs> we're probably going to have to run it as such. It was a combination of that, that demand from people that I said, it was just this visceral response. I was getting people really loving what we were making and I didn't really charge, I charged money at the farmer's market, but a lot of times I just gave it away. And so it became, uh, it just became obvious to me that the exchange of currency was simply that. It didn't need, it didn't mean that I needed to become a worse person if I was going to accept money for something in exchange for a good. Mm. Something as simple as that, right? And I think that, that, that whole concept has gotten really blown out of proportion and um, with sort of the multinational corporate profits and all that stuff, if we got into that. But, um, but, so it was it was two things it was both the consumer demand and then secondly i was still trying to get the product out there and recognizing that there needed to be a process for that so re mm -hmm. retail stores historically exist <laughs> for <laughs> the reason that you can uh, put products on their shelves and then people have a place to access them um, internet shopping wasn't really popular at the time 
certainly not what it is now. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I recognized that it would be a, it would be a fun thing to dive into to to really be a, it was almost like a personal challenge also is how how could I grow a business in a way that, that kept aligned with um, environmental and social responsibility in ways 